History, culture, and natural beauty perhaps best describes the essence of vacationing in Germany. With its many historic cities and quaint small towns, along with an abundance of forests and mountains, visitors are spoiled for choice when it comes to choosing unique places to visit in this beautiful part of Europe. Let's check out Top 10 Places to Visit in Germany. 10. Berlin's Brandenburg Gate Modeled on the Acropolis in Athens and built for King Frederick William II in 1791, the monumental sandstone Brandenburg Gate in Berlin's Mitte district was the city's first neoclassical structure. It measures an impressive 26 meters in height, which includes the quadriga, the spectacular four-horse chariot carrying the goddess of victory perched atop this spectacular building. Its six huge columns on each side of the structure form five impressive passages. Four were used by regular traffic, while the center was reserved for the royal carriages. Huge Doric columns also decorate the two buildings at each side of the gate, once used by toll collectors and guards. 9. Cologne Cathedral, Kölner Dom the towering Cologne Cathedral, Kölner Dom, the Cathedral of St. Peter and St. Mary is located on the banks of the Rhine and is undoubtedly Cologne's most impressive landmark. This masterpiece of high Gothic architecture is one of the largest cathedrals in Europe. Construction on this most ambitious building project of the Middle Ages started in 1248 and reportedly took over 600 years to complete. In imposing as its facade, the cathedral's magnificent interior covers an area of 6,166 square meters and boasts 56 huge pillars. Above the high altar is the reliquary of the Three Kings, a 12th century work of art in gold that was designed by Nicholas of Verdun to house the relics of the Three Kings brought here from Milan. Other highlights include the panoramic views from the South Towers, the 12th and 13th century stained glass in the Three Kings Chapel, and the treasury with its many precious objects, all of which survived largely intact after World War II. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you'll get notified when we upload next. 8. The Black Forest, Baden-Württemberg the beautiful Black Forest, with its dark, densely wooded hills, is one of the most visited upland regions in all of Europe. Situated in the southwestern corner of Germany and extending 160 kilometers from Forsheim in the north to the Wadschut on the High Rhine in the south, it's a hiker's heaven. On the west side, the Black Forest descends steeply to the Neckar and Danube valleys. Popular spots include Germany's oldest ski area at Totnau, and the magnificent spa facilities at Baden-Baden and the attractive resort of Bad Liebenzell. Other highlights include the spectacular Black Forest Railway. It's centered on Triburg with its famous falls and Triburg itself home to the Black Forest Open Air Museum. The best way to catch them all? Grab a map of the Black Forest Panoramic Route, a 70-kilometer driving tour that takes in the very best views over the region, along with its top historic attractions, including stunning castles and numerous medieval towns and villages. 7. The Ultimate Fairy Tale Castle, Schloss Neuschwanstein, Bavaria. The quaint old town of Fussen, situated between the Ammergau and Algau Alps, and a popular alpine resort and winter sports center, is a good base from which to explore nearby Neuschwanstein Castle. This spectacular old fortress is widely recognized as one of Europe's most famous and picturesque royal castles. King Ludwig II of Bavaria built this many-towered and battlement-covered fantasy fortress, famous as the inspiration for Walt Disney's iconic theme park castles from 1869 to 86. A variety of tour options are offered, including guiding tours of the sumptuous interior taking in the throne room, the Singer's Hall, and some of the country's most spectacular views. 6. Miniature Wonderland and the Historic Park of Hamburg in the heart of the historic port of Hamburg, the magnificent miniature Wonderland, the world's largest model railway, is an attraction that appeals equally to young and old alike. Boasting more than 9.5 miles of model railway track, this massive scale model includes sections dedicated to the USA, England, Scandinavia, as well as Hamburg. It also incorporates around 1,300 trains, more than 50,000 microscopic lights, and an excess of 400,000 human figures. It's not unheard of for guests to spend many hours exploring this fascinating world, with its remarkably detailed miniature airports, complete with planes that actually take off, as well as crowded cities, quaint rural scenes, and bustling harbors. For a memorable experience, book one of the behind-the-scenes tours, an especially fun thing to do at night. 
speaking of harbors, be sure to explore the vast port of Hamburg while you're here. Covering 100 square kilometers, this huge tidal harbor is home to one of the world's largest cruise ship terminals and is known as the gateway to Germany. To make the most of your visit, note that the harbor is best explored by tour boat. Afterwards, visit the harbor side promenade, a lovely pedestrian route, and the warehouse district. This historic district is famous for its continuous line of tall brick-built warehouses. 5. The Rhine Valley the Rhine is not only Europe's most important waterway, it's also the most beautiful. With a total length of 1,320 kilometers, this magnificent river stretches from Switzerland through Germany all the way to the Netherlands. While there are many places in Germany to enjoy this majestic river, the lovely Upper Middle Rhine Valley section, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is probably the most popular spot for tourists to visit. Here, this often dramatic 65-kilometer stretch of river boasts more than 40 castles and some 60 picturesque medieval towns, all waiting to be explored either by river cruise or by car. Looking for a great place to begin your Rhine Valley adventure? The historic town of Bingen, where the river cuts through a deep gorge before entering the Bacharach Valley, is a good place to start. 4. Berlin's Museum Island Berlin's world-famous Museum Sinsel, or Museum Island, lies between the River Spree and the Kupfergraben, a 400-meter-long canal off the river. This excellent attraction includes many of the city's oldest and most important museums. The heart of this pedestrian-friendly district is the Old Museum. Constructed in 1830, it was designed specifically to exhibit the royal treasures. Soon after, the land behind the museum was set aside for art and the knowledge of antiquity. Between 1843 to 55, the new museum took shape and the National Gallery was added in 1876, along with the Bode Museum, built in 1904 and home to collections of antiques. Another highlight of a walking tour of these spectacular points of interest is the Pergamon with its recreated historic buildings from the Middle East. 3. Munich's Marienplatz Germany's third biggest city, Munich, or München in German, has plenty to offer the adventurous traveler. The capital city of the state of Bavaria can trace its roots all the way back to the 12th century when a monastery was established here and quickly grew into the region's most important place of trade and commerce. Central to this rise was Marienplatz, the large square where traders from across Bavaria would meet to conduct business and where locals could congregate to shop and watch medieval jousting tournaments. These days, this vast square still draws crowds of people, but for different reasons. They're here for sightseeing or possibly to enjoy a visit to one of the square's trendy cafes and restaurants, or to shop in its unique boutique stores. The points of interest for tourists are plentiful. Here you'll find both the new and old town halls, the Neuss Rathaus and Atlas Rathaus, which were much of the city's history was written. 2. Bamberg and the Burgerstadt, Bavaria Located in the valley of the Regnitz, where the river divides into two arms, sits Bamberg. This old imperial city is the most important town in Upper Franconia and is one of the best preserved of Germany's many charming old towns. It's also one of the best to explore on foot. Your walking tour should begin in its episcopal old quarter, home to the 13th century cathedral and the old Benedictine Abbey of Michaelsburg. It's between the two river branches that you'll find spectacular. Burgerstadt, a small borough of Bamberg that contains the Grunermarkt, an excellent pedestrian zone which is home to the 17th century Baroque Church of St. Martin. To the north is the new town hall or Neuss Rathaus, built in 1736. But perhaps the town's most important structure is the old town hall built on top of the Oberbruck or Upper Bridge. 1. Zugspitz Massif, Bavaria Part of the Wetterstein mountain range, the Zugspitz Massif straddles the frontier between Germany and Austria and is surrounded by steep valleys. The eastern summit at 2,962 meters is crowned by a gilded cross and can be reached by the Bayerisch Zugsbahn, a cog railway, or by cable car. Another great way to enjoy this area of outstanding natural beauty is aboard the Terralor Zugsbahn, a railway that runs to the Zugspitzkamm station at 2,805 meters. From here, the journey can be continued via a cable car to Zugspitz West Gipfel Station at 2,950 meters. Which one of them would you definitely visit? Do let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this as well. Thanks for watching.